Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're dehydrating potatoes. Now as you can see here, I've got my potatoes from the garden and we got about 75 pounds. So we're really blessed with a lot of potatoes this year because there's only the two of us. So I have been, you know, washing them and sizing them for canning, which I've already done. And now I am scrubbing them and getting them ready for the dehydrator. Now I want to slice these a quarter inch thick. And the best way to stabilize your potato is to just take a very thin slice off one of the rounded sides. And then you've got a nice stable potato so that you can slice your potatoes to the thickness you want. Now folks, if you have a mandolin slicer, great. I don't particularly like them. I burned through a couple of them and was not fond of them. But see how nice and evenly that slice with just that one little bit taken off. And into the lemon water bath they go. So here I have a stainless steel bowl full of cold clean water and I've just put a splash of, of lemon juice in it folks and you really want your potato slices to go in water, lemon juice or not as you're slicing them because they will oxidize and start to go gray. So until they're ready to be blanched and go on the dehydrator, into the bowl of water they go. Okay, our boiling water is ready. And we're just gonna take our drained potatoes and we're just gonna drop them in here for three to five minutes. We do not, oh, sorry about the steam folks do not want to boil them. We only want to simmer them for three to five minutes. Sorry about the noise, folks, but this is a working kitchen, not a studio kitchen. Now, these have been in here. So let me just see if I can get one with a fork. That's fork tender. Okay? So now, because I'm going to use this water for my next lot of blanching potatoes, I'm just going to dip these out and put them in this bowl here. And when I'm done that, we'll get them on the dehydrator. Sorry about the steam. Okay, so it's a little bit quieter here in the pantry. And I just ran some cold water over these just enough so that I could handle them. Now we're gonna put these on our trays and you don't want them overlapping at all. Ouch, they're still bloody hot. Okay, I, I have four a bit trays here and I'm just gonna put these on. And I'm going to set the dehydrator to three, or excuse me, 125. And we'll be back when they're done. So here's our first batch of dehydrated potatoes. And as you can see, when I hold it a certain way, you get, they're almost translucent. And because they're par cooked, when I go to make scalloped potatoes, they are going to be amazing. And I'm doing another batch. And there it is, folks. Two half-gallon jars full of sliced dehydrated potato goodness. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying don't put all your eggs in one basket. Can and dehydrate. Take care. God bless.